Former NBC News reporter Vicki Vargas. Uh, Vicki, thanks for joining us from the desert tonight. You've had so many opportunities over the years. You've covered Orange County to cover the Brown family. Were they aware of the allegations of domestic violence? Did they stay in touch with Nicole's children? Oh, my goodness, yes. So Nicole's parents took the children into their home. They even filed for guardianship, and I attended many of those hearings when we were allowed to go into a juvenile courthouse, not in the courtroom, but in the courthouse, and O.J. Simpson was there. They got guardianship as soon as he was jailed. But when he was acquitted, he then could file to get his guardianship back of the children, and eventually it was granted to them. You know, you talked about those flashbulb moments earlier tonight, Colleen. I had them also. I remember sitting across from O.J. Simpson in the lobby of that courthouse, watching him placate the media, tell jokes, be funny, understand that he was the celebrity, regardless of the fact that he had just been on trial for murder. So it, it, eerie, strange, odd things to think back on all these years later. Yeah, when you think about it, we all had contact with him before this. He was a very charismatic man. You also spoke to the uh, godfather of O.J.'s son with Nicole. What can you tell us about him? Has he stayed in touch? Where is Justin today? He has. In fact, as we spoke this morning, he said he had just texted Justin, hadn't heard back from him, knew that he was in Las Vegas. And the reason Justin was living in Las Vegas was because he wanted to keep some kind of relationship with his father. Justin now has a daughter, and he knows that there is at least one picture of O.J. Simpson and this new grandchild. Um, it would be interesting to see how that all played out. But he was so happy to hear that for Justin, in spite of the media extravaganza, in spite of the spotlight, in spite of the trials, Justin wanted to stay a family man and still be close to his father. Sydney is living in Florida. Uh, I don't know about their relationship as much, but Dave Brobeck went on and on tonight, this morning rather, to say that he was just so proud that this young boy he knew at the age of five, who is now 38, uh, had gone on to be a father, and he was, that really made him feel good. Vicki V., as always, thank you for filling us in on that part of O.J. Simpson's life that we haven't really heard about for a long time. Thank You're you. very welcome. All right.